Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video I'm going to react to 50 British versus American word pronunciations. Now this should be fun because although we have the same language, we both speak English, it's weird like the languages have evolved in their own separate ways. Like certain words you guys pronounce, we don't pronounce that way. You've got words for certain things we don't even have. Like, you know, uh, uh, tomato, you guys would say uh, tomato. <laughs> that one's always made me laugh. So yeah, I'm eager to see which other ones there are. Let's do it. When I was a kid, I, we watched a lot of American television and one of those shows was Dynasty. 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 <laughs> what? Dynasty. I've never heard of a show called Dynasty. Hello, I'm Lawrence. I'm Tara. And we are on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And one of those memos pertains to words and how we pronounce them. Maybe the most important memo pertains to words. It, well, absolutely. Well, it's the one I discuss most, isn't it? And, you know, living with somebody who is... I think this is the first time I've ever seen his wife. Huh. She seems like a nice lady. She's American, and especially being in quarantine with her, I get to hear a lot of her mispronunciations different pronunciations all the time, don't I? Yes. And so when we're talking about mispronunciations, I think Lawrence is going to go first. Oh, am I? That's pressure. And then I'm going to go next with the correct pronunciation. Come on, come on. There is no correct pronunciation. You no. Know, language is fluid and we understand that. Something else to point out before we get underway. You know, while we are representatives of our respective countries here today, there will be a few of you watching this thinking, I don't pronounce it that way and I'm American or I'm British. Uh, we understand that. There are accents. regional differences. This is just how we do it. Without further ado, we're going to get started and we're going to say each of the 50 words with each variation on our own pronunciations. And because we didn't want to discriminate against certain words, we alphabetize this list. And since one of you in the comments below, I'm sure, is going to categorize each of these words, then you can find them very easily since they're alphabetized. It's just so considerate of us, wasn't it? <laughs> it really is. Let's get underway. All right, let's go. Oh, you always bring me up on this. Adidas. This is uh, Adidas. Yeah. Adidas. Yeah, what? Yeah. I, yeah. Ad advertisement. Advertisement. This is not an advertisement uh. for Lost in the Pond or for Adidas. We should point that out. Not a sponsored ad. Not at all. Oh, this one's this one H. is controversial. H. Uh, so I actually do pronounce this H, right? right. But um, I think when I was younger, it was H. A lot of British people do pronounce it that way. Not even younger. You've pronounced it H since I met you. Well, you know, well that, I was younger then. A lot. To be fair, we are taught in primary school that's H. It's just later in life, for some reason, we start thinking H is the more sophisticated way to say it. Younger, I guess. Come on. H. Uh, uh, now, aluminium. here's the thing. I pronounce this aluminum no. because it's spelled aluminum. But if it was spelled the British way, aluminium, I would pronounce uh, it thus. I-U-M. Aluminum. There really is only one. Banana. Ah. Banana. Not much different, really. <laughs> ah, another food item and, you know, basil. a person's basil. name. Basil. I call this basil, like basil faulty. Oh, basil, basil brush. For sure, for sure, brochure. Doesn't rhyme. But it does when I say it, brochure. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's not f Yeah, maybe I'll adopt your brochure. pronunciation of that. For sure. Brochure. I like rhymes. Aha, aha. Uh, yes, this one caught me off guard because Buddha. I'm a practicing Buddhist. I'm, I'm not, Buddha. but still. Um, whenever it's spoken about, I would say... Buddha. Yeah. I say Buddha. I'm not sure why. It doesn't. Why though? There's no like apostrophe or anything on top of the U. Make any sense? It doesn't have the two O's. Yeah. Language doesn't make sense, does it, Tara? Not at all. Easy one, this. Jimmy buffet. Buffett. No, uh, um, the word, not the, the name. Uh, buffet. <laughs> That's what I say. Is it? But you don't put like a, a weird emphasis on it or anything like that. Buffet. 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 <laughs> well, I say buffet. Oh. Ah, yes, here's an example of a British homophone. Boy. We pronounce this just as you would pronounce the word boy, as in boy and girl. Booey. 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 That's the way that I've always said it. Life boy soap <laughs> is life boy soap. It sounds like something a, a pig farmer would say. Sooey. <laughs> But I don't think it's B O Y. I think it's B U O Y. Again, not a sponsored ad for soap. Ah, oh, yes, this was one of the big ones Caramel. that I moved to the US because there's a place in Indiana called Carmel. We'll get onto that in just a second. My pronunciation of this word is caramel. Uh. As is mine. What? But the place is Carmel. Yeah, but I've heard is it you say like that, though, Carmel. Place. Carmel or something. I like say that. caramel. Caram, do you really? But some Americans don't, do they? No, some of them say caramel. Yeah, this one's got quite a regional caramel. difference. Caramel 
and caramel are spelt differently too. Oh, I know that. Okay. I've just heard people pronounce the two the same way. So is caramel spelt C-A-R-M-E-L? That would make sense. Ah, yes. This was Tara's Chauffeur. former profession to me. She was my chauffeur. I was never a paid chauffeur for him. <laughs> How did you just drove him around? Chauffeur. See, you're getting the sort of the French down there, I think, right? Usually we're bad at Spanish and you're bad at French. And speaking of Spanish, I used Chile. to pronounce this Chile. And I think most people in Britain do, but I've since evolved my pronunciation because of this one. Well, it's Chile because it's the place, Chile. But if you were to eat chili, that would be chili. Chili, the, the word, isn't even spelt like that. It's like C H I double L I. Chili. It's chili up north. That's another definition of the word. But Different we would spelling. still say chili. Absolutely. Oh, this Winter is a good one. Is uh, so uh, when I was a kid, I used to colour in inside crayon. the lines, I must make that clear, with a crayon. He uh. didn't, because I've seen his artwork from when he was younger. Um, but I say crayon as well. I was artist of the year in year seven. Is this the first However, one that we pronounced the same so However, there are lots of Americans who say crayon. One vowel. Ah, yes, another example of the croissant. French going weird in America. Croissant. Um, I pronounce this croissant, which that's super French, even for I'm English. from France. I mean, I we baguette. say croissant if we're saying it American, but I say croissant as well. <laughs> yeah, well, because you're pretentious like me. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, uh, so the Bond actor. Daniel Craig. I uh, still haven't seen any of those films. Shame on me. Wow. But I pronounce his name Daniel Craig. Craig. Daniel Craig. What? Craig. What revelation? That Craig. is a genuine revelation to me. Yeah, I'd right. say Craig if it was like a first name. But, but if it's Craig, it would be C-R-E-G, wouldn't it? Craig, like an egg. I think that Daniel Craig has been in the news enough that even in America we would say his name Daniel Craig. I suppose the fact that he's British as well, you hear that pronunciation quite often. Right. But if it was the the first name Craig... It'd be Craig. Craig. Wow. Craigslist, right? Yeah, Craigslist. Craig. In fact, perfect. When Daniel Craig made his first appearance debut. as Bond, he made his debut. debut. His debut. Well, this is similar, isn't debut. it? Uh, where we park the buses... All of the bosses in England depot. is called depot. the depot. And we say depot. Here oh. it is again. We spoke about this just the other day, uh, how it's used in different ways Derby. in both countries, but it's also pronounced differently. I've always said Derby. I love this one. It's one of my favorite ones, but it's Derby. And it doesn't matter no, what we're referring to, no, the town, no, the hat, no, no. or the type of race. If you're from Derby, then let me know in the comments. Should I pronounce it Derby? Or should I pronounce it Derby? Or should I pronounce it Derby? <laughs> there are, of course, 13 <laughs> states with a Derby as well. How do you pronounce it, Americans? When I was a kid, I, we watched a lot of American television, and one of those shows Dynasty. was Dynasty. 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 What? Dynasty. Isn't it weird how like I've adopted some of the American versions of saying things? It's probably because of all the movies and Netflix and all that stuff that I'm watching these days. Here's another French-inspired one. They're foyer. All French or Spanish, aren't they? Foyer. We would probably say foyer, but I think I've learned over the years to say foyer as well. I've influenced her. <laughs> This one just reminds me of Elton John. Why? Garage. Why does she say this word? Because he says, in the garage by the motorway. By the motorway? Motorway. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Which is weird way. because he often sings with an American <laughs> accent, doesn't he? The funny thing is, even in Britain, people can't agree on the pronunciation garage. of this word. I, I happen to say garage, but oh. some people would say garage. Oh, well, mine's pretty similar to that. It's garage. Oh, uh, I, I hope there are some people called Graham, Graham watching because it's, it's like most Graham decidedly crackers. in my pronunciation, Graham, not Graham, Graham. <laughs> Graham. All one vowel. Yeah. When you do it, innit? When I went to school, there was a kid named Graham and I couldn't figure out why his name was spelt the way it is and pronounced the way it is at the same time. Was he friends with somebody called Craig? For some reason, this one gets people in a tizzy. I say herb. I say herb. herb. Uh, although people in the West Country herb. might also say herb. Herbs and spices, like I just had. Absolutely. Ah, easy one, this. Home, Home address. address. Home address. I've had a lot of this in recent times, being here in quarantine. Leisure. Uh, leisure. 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 There you go. Sounds like lesion. I don't feel like you've had any leisure. I, well, I've had plenty of leisure, just especially now that I'm full-time on YouTube. Here's the thing. I think... I don't remember ever pronouncing this the British way of lieutenant. I've always said, what? I think, probably not, lieutenant. You know who says lieutenant? Wow, my mind is blown. So the British way of pronouncing that is lieutenant, even though there's no F in sight anywhere. Unless you count that as an F, an upside down F. Who? Paul Dark. Does he? Yes. 
But of course I say lieutenant, so... Ah, oh, it's back. Uh, Mary, so I pronounce all Mary, three of these differently. Mary. Mary, Mary, and Mary. I just pronounce them all Mary. Easy. Ah, oh, yes, depends what I'm referring to here. Mobile. If I'm referring to, you know, the phone, cell phone, I'd say mobile or a mobile home. If I'm referring to the place in Alabama, mobile. mobile. I'd say mobile for phone or for home and mobile for mobile. So at least we can agree <laughs> on the last one. Aha, again, not a sponsored video, Nissan. That is the silliest pronunciation. Nissan. Is it? Look, it begins with N-I-S-S. I. Nissan. I. <laughs> Which, you know, that's fine too. I'm certain I that that's the way that somebody... Nissan sounds like something in, like, Cantonese or Chinese. Nissan! Like... Somebody in Japan might say I it. I bet it is. I, you're probably right. America is very good about doing that, actually. This word actually seems oddly appropriate now. Nonchalant. Uh, nonchalant. Nonchalant. There you go. Again, Fairly similar. Getting your French down. It's amazing. Why can't you do that with Notre Dame? Notre Dame. Ah, this one was a revelation. Oregano. Oregano. And again, I hate to admit it, yours is closer to the original Spanish. Mm. I always thought it was Italian. Parmesan. Parmesan. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't, but I mean, it's tasty either way. It makes no sense Parmesan. the way that I pronounced that. I just realized. Well, but again, English doesn't... And it's, you know, it's borrowed from other languages. All of these words come from other languages originally. So mm. they're going to have weird nuances to them. And I think it's fine that you say that, but I'm just going to stick to Parmesan. It's just, it's slightly quicker. In the privacy of your own home. Privacy? Privacy. Either way, don't give out your home address. Address. <laughs> Progress. 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 To be honest, I, I go back and forth between both of them. I don't know if I do or not. To progress is to go forward. To have progress is what you have once you've progressed. That's a good yeah. distinction. I like. I actually like that. For me, this will always She basically said the same route. thing. Route. And it is for you too. But a lot of Americans would say... Route. And route is, for us, we'd only ever use that sound if we're talking about a football game where somebody hammered another team. It was a route. Mm. Simply the salon, which, you know, I think a lot of us could do with right now. That's quite French. How do you pronounce it? Salon. Yes, it's, it's just an emphasis difference again. Yeah. I could definitely use it. That's true. In fact, I, was, I got my hair cut just before this whole thing started. Sorry. In fact, you might say, I was right on schedule, although I never really pronounce it that way. I've always said schedule. And I've always said schedule too. Semi. Semi, or semi something, but semi on its own if it's a truck. Mm. Really? So you would actually say it's semi final, for example? Yeah, semi final, any kind of semi word, that prefix, I say it as semi. I bet you got that from me, haven't you? I doubt it. No? Okay. I think whenever I've heard an American sports commentator say semi-final... They always say, say semi. semi -final. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, squirrel. Squirrel. One, one syllable, more or less. Squirrel. It is, and I don't understand squirrel. that one either. So I, there are definitely two syllables. I pointed out once, it sounds like you've got a mouthful of nuts, much like a squirrel. <laughs> Tomato. Tomato. We knew that one already. I think everyone knows that one. Aha, they may not know this one. Tunisia. Tunisia. If there is anybody watching from Tunisia... I actually prefer the American version. I'll say that. The American one sounds a bit better. Tunisia or Tunisia, let us know which is closest to your pronunciation. Well, I think I know who's going to win this one. Uruguay. Uruguay. What? Do you usually do it like that? I know. You don't usually <laughs> affect the Spanish. Uruguay. Yeah. Um, Uruguay. Or yeah. But yours is closer again, I think, isn't it, to the considered Spanish pronunciation. I'm certain that there are Americans who say Uruguay, though. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, neither of us are correct here. Van Gogh. Um, so, yes, in Britain, we say Van Gogh. Here in America, growing up, I was conditioned to say Van Gogh, but increasingly, I've heard Americans say things like Van Gogh, or Van Gogh. I wonder if Doctor Who influenced that. I've heard that the Dutch is closer to that first one you said there, Van Gogh or something Van like Gogh. that. Van Gogh. You need a Van lot of Gogh. Ah, perfect, because Van Gogh did flowers. Vase. Uh, vase. Vase. But I also say vase. Do you think you picked that up from me as well? No, that was before <laughs> you. I'm just, you know, really pretentious, like you said earlier. And I'm losing my power. I, I'm going to be interested here because I actually don't know how you pronounce this, but I say it versatile. I go back and forth between versatile and versatile. That is a distinction here because I think, like you, not all Americans would say versatile. Vitamin. Vitamin. Have you taken your vitamins? Yeah. 
I haven't. And this is the one that waiters, you know, get tripped up on a lot when they hear me speak when water. I ask for water. This was something that I always had to order for him. In fact, to the point where I still, whenever we go out and have food in a restaurant, <laughs> who does that anymore? <laughs> What's a restaurant? <laughs> but when we used to do that, I would have to order all of his food for him because the waiters and waitresses just did not understand him. That's an exaggeration. Really? But at least the word water. Water. And we couldn't finish this video without YouTube. reference to the platform that it's on. YouTube. YouTube. Although when I'm speaking quickly, I do find myself saying YouTube, I think. Really? I've yeah. never heard you say that. Somet I found an old video of me the other day saying it that exact way without even thinking about it. And here he thinks that he influences me. <laughs> Get out. So there you have it. All the pronunciations of 50 different words. That was some of them very similar, some of them indeed. not so similar. That's true. And a little bonus entry, because I forgot to put it in, is the word paella. Paella. Again, Spanish. Let us know in the comments. That was fun. There was way more than I thought there were. I, like, I would not have thought there were more than 50. Like, I would have thought around 10. I know that we spell a lot of our words different. So for example, like um, color, we, we spell it C-O-L-O-U-R. And I think you guys spell it C-O-L-O-R. And uh, vaporize, we spell it V-A-P-O-U-R-I-Z-E. And I think you guys drop the U again. So yeah, I would have thought there's more spelling changes as opposed to pronunciation ones. But yeah, this was super interesting. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.